The 19th century was the heyday for the development of the double barrel shotgun. Even the Remington Arms Company from Illinois, New York got into the act. Hi, I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA, and I'd like to show you my old Remington Whitmore, model 1878. You'll notice that this gun has exposed hammers, and aren't they beautiful? You know, the hammers on a double barrel shotgun have two purposes. One is to fire the cartridges, but they also add a touch of elegance to the gun. You can see that we've got double triggers. This gun has a standard pistol grip design, similar to most of the side-by-side -side shotguns made in the 19th century. Almost all the Whitmore models had steel butt plates. Most of the Remington Whitmore guns were made with steel barrels, as was this one, but they also offered an option of twist steel and Damascus, with Damascus being reserved for the higher grades. Twist steel and Damascus are made by twisting alternating strips of iron and steel together, forging them under intense heat and pressure. Now Remington produced the Whitmore model from 1873 to 1882. Total production less than 15,000. This particular gun was made in 1878 and it's got a three digit serial number on it. Let me show you a couple more features. A unique feature of all the Remington Whitmores is the top lever that lifts up to release the barrels rather than one that pushes to the side. Now let me drop some snap caps in and I'll show you how the triggers work. The front trigger fires the right barrel and the back trigger fires the left barrel. Most people think that borderless checkering is a creation of the 20th century, but this old gun made in 1878 has true borderless checkering in a point pattern. Most of the shotguns made in the 1860s and 1870s feature a keyed type 4 end latch such as this one. It's a carryover from the muzzle loading days. So there you have it, the Remington Whitmore, model of 1878. I'm Larry Potterfield with Midway USA, and that's the way it is.